Kia ora, and welcome to Summer School for Level 3 Chemistry. Now, as you probably know, uh, if you're watching this video, you'll see that there is the news where you have to perhaps scroll down to see it. Please check this once a week. This is the way the teachers communicate to the whole class, so it could be important information that you need to know. Also, my updates. If you've uploaded any work, it's really important to check for feedback. Um, should your teacher should have given feedback by the next day, but this will tell you if there's feedback waiting for you. Please go and have a look and read your feedback. Secondly, you may have some questions, and if you can't get hold of your teacher, then if you click under the content, the very first thing you should get under the content is the frequently asked questions. So you can scroll down, see if there's any question you, you want answered, and if you just click on the drop down, it'll give you the answer. Otherwise, at the very bottom, a very common question for summer school is, okay, I've completed my assessment task, how do I get my credits? So the answer is there. So the content button also tells you or gives you a way to find the modules. So if you want to know what modules do I need to do for the course or the standard I have applied for. So here are the lists of the internal standards, uh, depending on what you've applied for. So you just click on these and then you'll see which ones you have to complete. Now, please note for the 91389, although it looks as though there's only one module given, you have to have completed quite a bit of level three chemistry because you have to show your understanding of level three chemistry as applied to a situation. So if you don't have very much level three chemistry, you are not going to do well, to put it kindly. Okay, and then here's the other common one, the redox chemistry, and then there are some unit standards. Please note unit standards do not count for the 14 credits for UE. Um, and the spinal unit standard does need access to a laboratory, which is in Wellington. So if you're not in Wellington, you can't do this final one anyway. Right, so those give you the modules you have to do. So how do I get to the modules? You click on the Get Started button. And you'll see here all the modules. Now, the first thing everybody has to do, unless you've already been enrolled in Takura this year and you, and you have already completed it, is the core concepts in chemistry with the teacher marked assignment. You don't have to work through the whole module, but you have to do the teacher marked assignment. It is our diagnostic. So you do that first, and then you would go and uh, look um, for the modules you have to complete. So say you want to do the redox chemistry, then you would scroll down until you find it. So say, for instance, uh, we want redox. So we click on here and notice that there's also an introductory video. Please watch that before you continue. So that's the course um, for the redox. So I'm going back to course home. Um, please note that the spectroscopy standard is not quite online yet. So it has a different format. This will be coming online during summer school. So if you're enrolled with spectroscopy uh, and you want to get started straight away, you can download the booklet and you work through a PDF booklet. There are hyperlinks to videos in that booklet. And then there's a the teacher marked assignment as well. The um, frequently asked questions also gives access to booklets. If you would prefer to work through a booklet that you want to print and take away, although there are a lot of videos and so on that are very helpful, so I suggest you also use the modules. The Dropbox, if you're looking for that to upload your work, you can either get it within the modules or you just click on Dropbox and then you can get to all the different box, drop boxes. Please make sure that you choose the right drop box and upload to the correct drop box. And then finally, if you've got any questions or if you need help, if you need motivation, please contact your teacher. We will be contacting you, but it's important that you also contact us. All the best. Kia ora. <laughs>